Let's get another 10-minute uh, game going. I got the black side again. All right. Uh, bird, I don't know what I'm doing against that. Um... Uh, I'll just grab the center. I guess he's playing like a, his own Dutch defense, I guess, because it says Dutch right here. Yeah, this is a Dutch. <laughs> All right. Um, can't go wrong with Knight out, right? I feel like that's kind of weak. I guess I was looking at putting my bishop there, but... I have a lot of other plans I can do. Now we can't get this triangle of pawns here. Um, all right. I need to get my bishop outside of the pawn chain. I did it anyway. Man, I should have done that last turn so I could just play e6 here without trapping my bishop in. I'm going to do it anyway. So. Alright, castles. All right, this is kind of like a French bishop again. And now I got to take it here. And he'll take back, and then I got to go up. Actually, I'll probably take it back with the F-pawn. Because that's what bird players like to do. They like to get rid of their F-pawn so that they have a half-open file for their rook. Yep, he likes this. Probably come down here, try to threaten f7. Um, then I can bring my knight back to here, because it can't go here. Um, see, that's his good bishop. Why would he want to trade that for my knight here? Maybe it messes up my pawns, I don't know. Wish I could get this bishop over here. Um, try to trade off his good bishop. Um, here, get a discovery on my knight with this bishop. Then I can just take it with a knight. Uh, so that's fine. He was letting me get his good bishop. Alright, now I've got... A pair of bishops, and he, oh, Arr. Ah, crap, if I play f5, and if he takes, I can take my bishop, and then I can always castle long, um, if I play f5, he comes here to check me, G6. Alright. I hate that I undouble his pawns, but... I should be able to get this in the end game because I have the bishops. And his pawns are all on dark squares, and he has a dark square bishop. So those are two kind of advantages I have. Given that this member ever comes back online... Bon ben Furman. And he did impass on it. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna lose a pawn though. Dang. Um check. Block. Well, block. He's gotta he's gotta get the pawn, doesn't he? 
Bam. 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 Then we'll see if the bishops are worth an extra pawn. Yep. Now, where do I put the bishop? Should I go ahead and put it on the long diagonal? And close this? Or should I bring it here? I'm sorry. Here, and then close this. I think I should close it. All right. Um, I already know your move. Um, I think this is probably a little bit stronger. Because I can still take here with the... No, I'm going to push this pawn. I want all his pawns on dark squares. Again, broken record, but... It is what it is. He has disabled chat. It's too bad. Indonesian people are pretty cool. I don't even know if I want to put this game on because I don't know how to play against the bird. Oh. Even though I actually used to play the bird in my first chess tournament when I went undefeated. I mean, I didn't go undefeated. I won every game. Um, he doesn't have any good squares. For any of his pieces. I mean, that's... Decent, but okay. Here, maybe? No, I brought it back. It's a good square for it. Now this bishop's kind of looking pretty bad. Like a tall pawn or something. Yep. Then he'll get this open file right next to my king, which is bad, but I can always bring my king up and then contest it. Maybe I shouldn't be contesting it. If I pass, um, he takes here, I pass, this knight has to go back, um, if I pass, he, no, if I pass, he takes, bishop takes, then he takes, yeah, then I lose a pawn, so, If this way, then here. Check. I need to get my king up here. Yep. Uh. 
Ooh, that's nasty. I'll have to give up this pawn too. Man, I'm not playing this very well. Nope, we don't see. Okay. I'm not going to take. Um, takes, takes back. I'm good. Or maybe even here, that might be better. Um, you can see here, then I can, yeah, there's, there's no tactics. I can bring my king up this way. Right there. I can get my bishop in right there, which is a good square for it. Okay. And if he brings the rook up here, I pin it. And then he goes that way. Alright, so... If I pin it, if I check him anyway, check him right now, well, then he'll go to the corner, and I can bring my rook over here. No, because he's still got this. Wait, then he takes, sorry, um, he takes, I take, then he can't. All right, so now rook over here, takes, takes, um, then he, yeah, he's just gone, so. <sighs> yeah. I'm down a pawn. Bad. All right, so now I'm in trouble, right? And do I want to trade off the bishops and get opposite color bishop in game? I don't think so. Seventh heaven rooks. Well, rook. Need to get my bishop out of danger. Actually, here might be a better square for it. Got some square for the king. Um. He has that move. Check. Check. Takes. Take. Takes. Takes. Huh. Takes, takes, check. We trade rooks. Um, hmm. Takes, 
take here. Takes my rook. Then good game, right? Huh. Oh, crap. Dang, now I lose a piece. Just hope the opposite color bishops are enough to draw the game. Which I doubt they are. So, crap. Yeah. If he pushes the pawn, I can go here with my bishop. And then I can put my bishop right in front of it. Make sure his knight doesn't have anywhere good to go. I think that's the only square. It's worth anything right now. Oh crap. He wants to go right there. I don't think he can. Because one pawn is not usually not enough to win opposite color bishop in games. Oh, he, he does it anyway. What a loser. Push his pawn. But my king can stop this one. My bishop can stop this one. Oh, wow. He wants some connected passers. Yeah, I can play that move. All I have to do is trade my light square bishop for two pawns, which he lets me do easily. Good game, sir. All right, that's how you draw when you're down a piece. Uh, all right, we'll play him one more time. We're going to try London. And he, he loves the Dutch. Oh. You know, I wish I knew the Dutch, because it's like, um, kind of un a little bit unorthodox, and I, I was like those kind of openings. Now this pawn is susceptible. No, it's not. All 
Alright, this is where it belongs in the London anyway. And he puts the knight there, so I can't get it because he'll fork me with a pawn. Mm-hmm. And now I can attack him with B3. And A4. Um, B3. <sighs> no, because then this pawn will hang. I can give her that knight now, though. I want to bring this bishop back. All of his pawns are fixed on light squares. So that means that this bishop is bad. And I'm okay with it. I might even just leave his pawns there. Nah. If he takes, I'll just put my bishop there. That's good with me. Thank you. My bad bishop, his good bishop. So, oh well. I guess he doesn't want to trade. Uh, if I take this way, he'll take back that pawn. Do I want to trade this way and get rid of some not, some rooks? Get closer to an end game. This pawn's awfully weak for him. Yeah, right, let's do that. Let's attack that pawn. And I'm also threatening a checkmate right there. So you got to do something real good, you know. I don't see a good move for him. Uh, okay, good game, sir. All right, cool. So that's how you win with a London, man. London against the Dutch. All right. All right, so the first game is the first game how to draw with how to draw down a piece how to draw down a piece and that was what was that that was a French I think <laughs> 